Hey everyone, and welcome back to Investing Guide, your daily guide on everything happening within the world of crypto. Cardano has definitely been proving itself as one of the most valuable cryptocurrencies today. The crypto asset has received an incredible amount of attention from mainstream outlets, and a lot of hype over the month of August 2021, a buildup in preparation for the long-awaited Alonzo update. Nasdaq, one of the biggest electronic marketplaces today, and not to mention the world's first electronic exchange, has just said something about Cardano. Being called the cryptocurrency built by the people, for the people, it comes as no surprise that Cardano is quickly climbing up the ranks as it currently holds the top third spot in the top 10 cryptocurrencies of today. Experts and analysis are predicting that Cardano is likely to overtake its well-known rival, Ethereum, soon, and eventually become the second biggest cryptocurrency after Bitcoin. Do you think Cardano has the potential to overtake Ethereum at some point in the near future? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Today we're going to be tackling a very interesting topic as we discuss and explore all the expert opinions and predictions for Cardano. Nasdaq believes that Cardano has great potential to skyrocket to unbelievable heights. So stick around until the end of the video to hear everything you need to know. But before we start this topic, which I'm sure you're all going to find super interesting, please make sure to hit that like button if you like this type of content and subscribe to our channel. We're constantly uploading more new videos to keep everyone up to date in the world of investing. So turn on your notifications, that way you're not going to miss out on any of our new updates. Media outlet Nasdaq has always had a thing or two to mention about cryptocurrencies. They aren't reserved when it comes to sharing their expectations for the coins who hold high ranking on the stock exchanges list, based on market cap values. In the buying and trading market, Nasdaq receives a lot of respect and high regard from the public. This makes their opinions on each coin in the market quite valuable and influential, as the first electronic global platform for buying and trading. Tech giants like Apple and Facebook are also listed on Nasdaq which is one of the many reasons why the company and its expert opinion remains reputable and revered in the market. In a recent Nasdaq article titled High Conviction Calling Cardano Deserves Immediate Attention, Nasdaq actually acknowledged the substantial growth Cardano experienced this 2021, taking note of its approximate price of $1.05 in July and subsequently hitting a new all-time high, surpassing the $3 mark in August. Nasdaq recognizes the volatility of the market and how swift prices can move, yet it still remains steadfast in its confidence in the trajectory of the ADA token. Nasdaq has hinted at the great advancements Cardano may have had and may continue to have. Charles Hoskinson, Cardano founder and Ethereum co-founder, aims to reduce the amount of energy needed to validate the transactions of miners while mining. This is definitely something that could be a great step forward for the crypto asset especially considering that Cardano is already the third largest cryptocurrency holding a market cap of over $94 billion. While Cardano has been doing great for itself, Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin is ensuring Ethereum stays on top of its game. Buterin has plans for a new upgrade that will dramatically reduce the use of electricity by 99% and going green. So what does this mean for Cardano? Although Nasdaq has acknowledged that Ethereum's plans to be more eco-friendly could undermine Cardano's new phase, Nasdaq still believes that Cardano's implementation of smart contracts will allow the coin to experience exponential growth. Manager of Morningstar Portfolio, Amy Arnott, rang the bells and claimed that Cardano is likely to rise into being one of the big three, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, in a Business Insider article. Nasdaq was quick to remark on these statements and predictions, publishing on their websites that they believe in its potential as well. Arnott acknowledged the similarities between Cardano and Ethereum, noting that Cardano's protocol has a lot of potential technical applications. Following Arnott's statements, Nasdaq has discussed the upcoming Alonzo upgrade that the Cardano network is experiencing this September 2021. Nasdaq stressed the great impact that this will have on its stance in the market, pushing it up the charts following an inevitable widening of its scope and placement. 
The Alonzo testnet project will allow more people, businesses, and institutions to use Cardano more effectively and efficiently to their liking. However, Nasdaq also mentioned the doubt that's been circulating regarding the successful implementation of the Alonzo update. A bet on Polymarket started in July 2021, asking the question, will Cardano support smart contracts on mainnet by October 1st, 2021? The platform allows users to bet either against or for. While the tides were initially not in favor of Cardano's success, today's standing shows otherwise, with 92% supporting the network. Hoskinson has come through and put some ease into the minds of those in the Cardano community. He claimed that the first part of the project has been successfully executed and that he and his team are now working to upgrade Cardano for better web compatibility of the smart contract functionalities on the blockchain. This update is expected to launch in September, which was stated in a tweet by Input Output HK. Cardano's future is looking bright. There are more plans within the Cardano pipeline that aim to make the network usable on mobile making it more accessible to the public. This undoubtedly means great things for the crypto asset, as it would enable the smart contract functionalities on mobile without needing to download the whole Cardano blockchain. Cardano continues to be steadfast in its own developments and shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. Multiple opportunities continue to present themselves for this cryptocurrency, and it's going to allow it to boom and grow, exceeding beyond expectations to potentially become one of the big three cryptocurrencies alongside Bitcoin and Ethereum. Nasdaq believes that if and when the bigger crypto players, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, begin their rebounds, opportunities for altcoins like Cardano are bound to increase. Cardano's opportunity to skyrocket to unbelievable heights will be within reach, with Cardano showing strong and steady efforts in progressing forward. If Charles Hoskinson proves successful in implementing the Alonzo upgrade with smart contract functionalities, Cardano is bound to be able to play at higher levels than it is used to. The Cardano network continues to actively advise miners and interested crypto beginners to pay attention to Cardano as it may just be the right place to put their investments in. Do you think Cardano has the potential to become the new Ethereum? Will it eventually become the second largest cryptocurrency? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And before you continue, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this type of video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date in the world of investing. In a more recent article, Nasdaq explores the reasons as to why it's a great time to begin investing in Cardano. The article's title, Cardano's recent spike makes it the third largest crypto, but there could be more, says it all, as Nasdaq claims that there are great things going for the crypto asset and that it is likely to just get better and better. With no signs of slowing down, Nasdaq acknowledges how Cardano has been able to break away from its initial spot as the fifth largest crypto, and is now holding the spot for the third largest crypto by market cap. Like every other coin in this very volatile market, Cardano has also seen its own fair share of controversy. Nasdaq writes that many still remain doubtful of Cardano's ADA token, and what it can realistically attain. However, all popularity is good regardless of the direction, because it means that people are paying attention. Nasdaq also points out that Cardano's got an advantage in the crypto market, having retained most of its power since its inception. This allows more control within its system, whereas most coins in the market have been disadvantaged in that influential people are able to make or break their growth. Having people this influential can cause incredible growth or damage, but a more resilient and steady nature for Cardano may make it a bit safer and reassuring. Cardano's incredible increase in market cap over the month of August 2021 captured the attention of many investors and the media. With the upcoming launch of the Alonzo update, which is a part of the major Gogoen phase of the network, speculations continue to increase on how prices may skyrocket after the implementation. Should the implementation of smart contract functionalities be successful, then the Cardano network will be able to begin competing with Ethereum. With Cardano's market cap continuing to grow every single day, do you think it's possible for it to become known as one of the big three cryptos? Will Cardano eventually smash Ethereum and become the second largest cryptocurrency? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with us all the way through until the end. Sadly, that's all we've got time for today. But looking at everything we've discussed, it's safe to say that Cardano is definitely a crypto asset that you may want to seriously consider. It's got the power and potential to boom into something much bigger than it already is, and we may even see it become part of the big three cryptos. 
We hope that you've been able to learn a thing or two from our video about Cardano and what experts around the world, like Nasdaq, have to share about their opinions and predictions on the coin. While you're here, you might want to click on one of the two videos on your screen to learn more about crypto. See you there!